H1 and 2... Like, they're not hard, like, once you get used to them. H1 will take time to, uh, to understand, but... But the common rule you can uh, take from this by is that if I say they're easier than World 1, then it is. Because <laughs> I suck at the game. If you find World 1 to be easier, that's because you haven't practiced it. Like, that's all there is to it. Like, if you can pull off World 1 and think it's easy, like, you, you can pull off World 8, no problem. I'm fucking horrible at this game. Yeah, yeah, I'm still thinking you should uh, sub 50 CV1 at least. You have the potential. It's only 8 seconds. Damn it! Well, I might be done before you get runs started on this, but still would be interesting to see what you are capable of. But yeah, I expect you to beat my ass just like you did on SMB2. I wouldn't be surprised at all. I'm not going back to that at all. There we go. A nice little save. I might just SMB1 this year also, just to get rid of the whole Nest trilogy. Just to say it's done. Why not? Like, I've already done two of the games. SMB1 can't be worse than this, in terms of learning. You already did SMB1. Like, when the fuck did you do that? That must be like way back. What time did you get? Did you get the sub 5? 5 F11. Yeah, you can definitely uh, go back to that, I'm sure. If you wanted to. Obviously, sub 5 is the. Uh, Obvious goal for everyone, but I don't know realistically if I would care enough. I know Orcus was on it for quite a while. Yeah, I believe you. Stomach, please. Okay, got the flower. Yeah, I think any percent SMB3 is good practice for SMB1. Because that's also just very movement techy in that sense. Like, you really just need to get good finding those frames. Kind of like Ghoul School or Strider or any other of those, like, short fuckers. 
um, I can get decent at, but it like it, a lot of effort goes into it. And SMB1 specifically is just that much more competitive. It's uh, a lot of work for sure going into that. Fuck, how is that gold? Yo, Kale, bring me the luck. God damn it, Kale. Like yesterday, you were on point for this shit. Yeah, Kale just called out no hands yesterday like a boss, and lo and behold, we fucking got no hands. One hand is fine, one hand is fine. See what happens. Very good chance if we can keep the flower. close like proper close Oof. playing like shit Oof. okay one hand is fine we can absolutely PB with that just need to play well Rats. Huh. Yeah, I couldn't go for the fast strat there. I wasn't aligned properly. That sucks. That's fine. Just gonna use the store. Got it. No, no, okay, 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 okay. 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 That was a weird one. Okay, I need to focus here. Okay. Still choke. I got like nerves is getting to me. First time I really feel like it's actually getting to me in uh, a Mario free run so far. Is that gonna cause lag? No. It's coming down to uh, final stage people. And in particular, I definitely need a flower kill on Bowser, otherwise, it's dead. So I definitely need to get a good kill there. Did 
if I lose the flower, is dead for sure. And uh, if I don't get the flower kill, it's also dead. I play well here. Almost fell down. It should be a small PB, maybe sub 50. I don't think it's sub 50, but it's a PB. It's a 52, might be a 51. Ah, still not good. Thanks for the GG, Kale, Spy. I mean, it's something. It's something. I wouldn't say it's good, but it's something. We lost so much time there at the end. Bad Bowser kill, but I really needed the flower kill there, so. I opted for safety. We lost a lot of time on. Uh, Oh yeah, this is one hand, I believe, right? Oh, so that's where the time loss comes from, actually. <laughs> yeah, now we at least have uh, a time save on the airship. But yeah, really good uh, world one in this one, though. It's good splits to run against, it's gonna be interesting. For the future. But lots of time save. Everywhere still. <laughs> GG.